This is how to install CyanogenMod 12 Lollipop on a Samsung Galaxy Player 5.0. So the first thing you're going to need to do is ensure you have flashed uh, CyanogenMod 9, 10.2, 11, and once you're on CyanogenMod 11, you are ready to follow this tutorial. If you need a tutorial on how to flash older versions of Android, i.e. Uh, CyanogenMod 9, 10.2 and 11 on your device, then please follow the uh, tutorials I've made in previous videos. Uh, I'll put a link to those videos in the description of this video. So once you've gotten that Synage Mod 11 uh, flashed on your device, you're going to want to go to your computer and go to this website. Uh, I'll put a link to this in the description of this video. But uh, yeah, just go here. Now keep in mind, this is an alpha ROM, as you can see on the website. So not everything is going to work. Uh, I was going to wait to make this video until the ROM was uh, fully functional on the device. But since I got a lot of requests to do so now, I decided to just go ahead and make a video. But keep in mind, you're doing this at your own risk. And uh, the device will probably uh, not fully work, as you can see in the bug reports up here. But uh, for the most part, it should work just fine. It seems like the core things do work, like Wi-Fi and uh, the graphics uh, acceleration as such and stuff like that. So um, what you want to do on this website is download three things. So the first thing you're going to want to download is this uh, TWRP 2.8.0.0 uh, recovery, which you can just go here and then you can just go ahead and download it right there. Um, the second thing you're going to need is the weekly build of the ROM. Now this, since this is a weekly ROM, uh, it will be updated every week and with every build there are usually always some problems that have been fixed. So if something doesn't work in this particular build at this particular time, uh, chances are at a later date they will have fixed that and the ROM will function better. For all I know, when you're viewing this video, the ROM could be fully compatible and fully uh, supported on the device. But as of uh, this time, it is not. So what you're going to want to do is download the latest weekly build from one of these three websites here. I went ahead and did mega.co.nz because it seems to be the fastest. Now the third thing you're going to need to download is the gapps package. So you can go to this link here. And you're going to want to download uh, this version of the GS package, uh, L32815.zip 5.1 minimal. Uh, that is the GS package you're going to want to download. And once you have downloaded all of those, uh, you will have them on your computer. So these are the three uh, packages for this device. So I'm going to go ahead and plug the device into USB storage. So let me do that real quick. As you can see, of course, I am running Synergy Mod 11 on the device right now. So we're going to go ahead and connect to USB storage. Alright, so once it is connected to USB storage, you're going to want to go ahead and uh, open the folder in Windows Explorer. Uh, and what makes it easier is if you make a folder for all the files you'll need. In this case, I made a folder folder called Jell uh, should be uh, yeah lollipop so a folder called lollipop for all the files necessary for flashing let's go ahead and open the folder and copy in the three files you just downloaded so that will take a minute to do and I will resume the video once it is complete all right so once you have all the files copied over to the device you can go ahead and eject it from USB storage. Now the rest of this process takes place on your device. So the first thing you're going to want to do is shut down the device. Now if you have advanced re uh, reboot enabled, you can just click reboot and recovery this way. However, if you don't, you can hold down uh, the volume up button and the power button at the same time while rebooting and it will boot into recovery. So I'm going to go ahead and press OK to reboot into recovery.
Okay, so once the device is uh, in recovery mode, the first thing you're going to want to do is scroll down to install zip. Choose zip from uh, your SD card, depending on what SD card you're using, the internal or an external SD card. Uh, you click on one of these two top options. In this case, I'm using the internal, so go ahead and select it. Just wait for it to load. Now scroll down to your uh, kit or lollipop folder or wherever you stored the files you need to flash. Because I have quite a bit on my SD card, so it takes a while. Alright, there is our lollipop folder. Go ahead into that. And the first thing you're going to need to flash is the TWRP recovery. Let's go ahead and select it and select yes. Alright, so once that finishes, you can go ahead and go back. Go ahead down to advanced and reboot recovery. Alright, so now you can see we are in a TWRP recovery, which is actually touch-based, instead of the Clockwork Mod recovery, which is uh, based on using the uh, volume up and down buttons and the power button. So the first thing you're going to want to do is select Wipe, uh, and Swipe to Factory Reset. Alright, and now you want to go to Advanced Wipe and just click Dalvik Cache in System. I should have done that before, but that works fine as well. Okay, now once that's complete, you can go back. If I could do it, okay. Now you want to click Install and scroll down to uh, External or Internal SD, depending on what you're using. And then scroll down to your Lollipop folder once again, and now flash the CyanogenMod 12.1 file. And actually, before you do this, you can actually add more zips, and also select the G apps at the same time. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And once you have those two selected, you can go ahead and swipe to confirm flash. Now just wait for the flashing to complete. And this looks like it's going to take some time, so I'll go ahead and resume the video once the flashing is complete. Alright, so that took quite a long time, but the installation is now complete. So now you can go ahead and select Reboot System. Now once it reboots, and it will take quite some time to boot up for the first time, but once it reboots, you should be in a full install of Saint Engine Mod 12. So let's just go ahead and let it boot. And there it is. There is the Saint Engine Mod 12 boot logo. So once it finishes starting up, I will resume the video. Alright, the device has just finished booting up, and I have uh, just completed the first time setup on the device. And now CyanogenMod 12 is running perfectly, as you can see. Now, since this is a pretty old device, uh, the graphical mode that's enabled on a Lollipop is actually the low RAM, uh, decreased uh, transparency and stuff, uh, user interface. So as you can see up there, the uh, status bar is not transparent. And if you actually swipe down to see your notifications, it actually makes the entire screen go black. It's sort of like uh, running iOS 7 on the iPhone 4. Uh, you lose some graphical uh, enhancements, but uh, it's compromised for better performance. As you can see, it is kind of weird and, and doesn't really look too good, but... Uh, as you can see, the device seems to run okay. It's not as fast as it was on Sanjay Model 11, 
but it still seems to run just fine. So I'm going to go ahead and overclock it. So I'm going to go ahead into settings. Uh, scroll down to about tablet apparently on this now. Uh, scroll down to a build number and tap it until development settings are enabled. And once they are, you can go back to your main settings page, go to performance, press OK. Uh, oh, you can turn high end graphics on from here, I didn't realize that. So let's go ahead and turn that on. And once we reboot, it should enable the higher end graphics. However, it could decrease performance slightly. Uh, I'll go ahead and add that into this video after I reboot and go ahead and show you what it's like. Go ahead into processor, uh, and let's be sure to turn on set on boot so you don't have to set this every single time. Uh, change maximum CPU frequency. Uh, it is possible to go up to 1.7 gigahertz, however I usually safely go about 1320 megahertz. It's not too, not too much faster than the stock 1 gigahertz clock speed. So I don't think it should heat up the device too much. So for CPU governor, you're going to go onto this and select on demand. I found that that gives me the best performance. So now once you have done that, uh, you can go ahead and go back. You can see we are still in low uh, graphics mode, but the device is running perfectly fine. It's really smooth and seems to work quite re quite well. Um, like I said, it is a little laggy, but for the most part. It is pretty smooth and pretty quick. So, yeah, that is San Andreas Mod tw oh, 12 on a Samsung Galaxy Player 5.0. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is reboot uh, and see what the performance is with the high-end graphics mode enabled. So let me go ahead and do that now. Now I'll go ahead and resume the video once the device has booted back up. Alright, so the device has just finished rebooting, and as you can see, we now have a background on the lock screen. Uh, I forgot to mention before that uh, the background on the lock screen is black in low graphics mode. So let's go ahead and unlock the device. And there it is. And it actually doesn't seem to be running that badly. Go ahead and get out of that. So yeah, it seems to run just fine in high graphics mode, so you can go ahead and enable that uh, once you get the ROM installed, like I just did uh, in the previous clip. So that is how to install CyanogenMod 12 uh, Lollipop on a Samsung Galaxy Player 5.0. Hope you enjoyed this video.